Rise from your grave. Hey Quakers, welcome once again to another episode of The Quake Grave. Today, we're going to take a walk along the tightrope. That's right, this is another map by Glenn and Chad, who's been on the show a few times before already. This was released on October 7th of 1996. So let's take a walk along this tightrope and see where we go. Alright, we are dropped into some sort of a temple type place. We got double barrel shotgun, nail gun. Oh, we got some doors opening here with some ogres. So we are, we are just dropped into a dark crossroad area, and I cannot... Okay, these are just... Oh, there's... Okay, another another ogre, I guess. I was going to say, I can't see a damn thing. Okay, we got another ogre on the opposite side. Oh, which you got a little bit of a reach advantage on me here, because you can lob those grenades way over here. I can't do nothing about it. Yes, I can. I can take you out. No biggie, right? Another scrag here. You're done. Uh, let's see. Wow. Six out of 18. There's only 18 kills in this one. Might I say that this is... This is just incredibly dark. Okay. Another area back here. Okay, so the, what? Is it just going to keep keep opening as we go? It's kind of weird. Huh. Okay, we'll go back here. I'll get my... I don't know won't open. It opened from the other side, I saw it. Okay, this opens, right? This opens, and then it opens the other side. I saw the armor! What, so now I can't get it? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Well, that's lame. You get one chance to get the armor and that's it? Was that a secret? No, it's not even a secret, so it doesn't matter. Okay, that's an elevator up. What's it? Whoa, 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 hey! Is he shooting from the floors? Okay, shooting from this. Everything, it looks like. Okay, we're just gonna go up, because I can't... Oh my god! Guys, this map is so damn dark on my screen, I can't see hardly anything. Don't like it. Okay, we got teleported down there. I assume this is the aforementioned tightrope. I thought that was gonna open. Maybe when we get the key? No open. Okay. Well, we got a teleporter, and when you see a teleporter in Quake, you gotta take it, right? So, let's drop in and see what happens. Um, oh. <laughs> well, that's interesting, right? Not a, not a good way, I don't think. Okay, I didn't get hit. Alright, let's grab some of this health over here. Oh my god, it opened. Can we make it? Where did the dog come from? Oh, almost made it. How do we activate that? We go back here. Hit whatever invisible switch, right? Run back. It's not open. So where do I gotta go to open that? That way? Alright, that is that is just entirely too confusing. I'm not, I can't deal with it anymore. Oh, there's a shambler up here, I guess. Okay. Take the tightrope get the hell away from him. Oh, and I guess the Shambler is now down <laughs> down on the other side. And there's, let's see, we're 16 out of 18 kills. Drop down here and grab these. I got the blue key already. You're down here, aren't you? Yes, you are. Oh! Still happen to get a piece. Okay, now I got a gold key. Which I did not even see. That was a complete accident. So what the hell am I supposed to do now? I have to go back again? This sucks because now I got a shambler running loose down there. Ah! Right below me. Oh, you're such a jerk. I can't see him in the darkness until he starts to shoot at me. Luckily, I have an absolute ton of shells. Go ahead, run away. I can reach you, right? I'm gonna be on the safe side here, grab some health. That teleporter seemed to work fine. 
The other teleporter on the other side. I don't know what was going on with that, but... Where are you? Oh, he's back up. Oh, crap. Where are you? <laughs> this is making this level much longer than it really needs to be, right? Do we kill you? I don't even know. Forget it. I'm going for it. I'm over this. Don't know if I killed him, but he's done. Okay, that must be the end of the level. Uh, yeah, it looks like I did kill him. Alright, I'll take out this ogre real quick, and then I'm assuming this is the exit. Boom! There it is. No secrets, all the kills. And that was tightrope. So, yeah, there you go. Tightrope. I don't know. Not very, uh, not very exciting. Um, that first area with the, the cross-roaded area with, you know, all the health and ammo and stuff, super confusing in my opinion. I don't know what was going on there. I, uh, yeah, I, I don't really know. That Shambler fight became a lot more interesting just because he managed to go down the elevator there. If he wasn't down there in that area and I wasn't such a wuss, <laughs> I probably would have just like ran to the end like I did there. Because at that point I was just tired of fighting him. I was just going to get to the end and, you know, uh, you know, get to the exit where the, the blue key was. I assume that's where it was because there wasn't much to the to this level. But, I, I, yeah, that first area, I just really don't understand what was going on there. You got the green armor, right? and it like will appear kinda and then you gotta try to run over to it in time but I'm not sure how it was actually activated I don't know that was really weird it's a very strange map it's kinda interesting the way it starts out I, I wish that the doors once they revealed the ogres on each side would just stay open so that way you can you know run over there and grab stuff as you can see it um, unveiling enemies that way is it's it's kinda cool but uh... yeah I don't know There's there isn't there isn't much meat to this tightrope of a, of a map and uh, I really expected a thinner rope to be quite honest but um, yeah uh, it's okay I don't know if I could recommend playing it just because it's really really short and it doesn't seem to offer a whole lot it seems like another practice map by Glenn here um, but there you go that was tightrope until next time Quakers